Okay, the next thing I wanted to show in XSI is uh, show a little bit of the hair tools in XSI in 3.5. Been a lot of work done in hair. And uh, just comment on, I'm going to do some new stuff and some old stuff. I wanted to review uh, on hair because I think it's one of the areas of the software that uh, I don't think is, I think people don't under, a lot of people haven't considered uh, the potential of what's possible, possible in, in hair and XSI. There's a great deal. A more for more latitude for people to be ambitious. It's an extremely powerful tool. So I just like to encourage people to do more work in hair and uh, push the envelope a little bit because it it is an incredible interface for doing hair. So first thing I wanted to touch on is uh, how hair and subdivision surfaces interact. So prior to version 3.5, uh, hair and subdivision surfaces weren't working very well. Uh, basically, it would work like this. When you subdivided the hair, would stick to the level zero. In this version, what we've got is the you can get on the hair. Actually, if I look at the hair properties, they've got a generator operator that gives it an independent subdivision level. So what this means, I mean, we could have hooked it up right to the mesh, but we wanted to make sure if you had different OpenGL and render settings, uh, you can wire this up however you want. So, so say you want to come in here and have the OpenGL level drive the hair. You can do that really easily, and then we go. Add subdivision surfaces. You can see it follows the curvature of the mesh perfectly. So this this goes a long way in marrying together um, this the character workflow because you know a lot of times you'd have to stick nerves surfaces on the head use these kind of hybrid uh, topology types, which which are is kind of a pain. You know, it's it's bit just we just want to keep everything as clean and light as possible as we can. So. Um, and there's Bob Shaffron jumping on top of my cubicle. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show is I'm going to set the edge crease value on here. And you can see when you've got a hard edge here, uh, it, it follows. So everything that works with subdivision surfaces works with hair.